Jesus. Hallelujah. Give our God a shout if you are here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mary God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I, I want to start by congratulating the worship team for making our day. Come on, put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for this people. <laughs> Amen. Don't be jealous when I keep on talking about them. There is something about maintaining consistency. When it is ugly, they are there. When it is bad, they are there. They are not one time. Hallelujah. They know they have realized they are part of the pillar that is holding the house. They are part of what? And uh, there is a way pillar behaves. I said there is a way what? Pillars. Pillar don't behave like walls. A wall, you can break the wall, but don't touch the pillar. If you touch a pillar, things will fall down. That's why sometimes when God wants to make a people pillar in his house, he first of all build them very strong build them up raise their heart hallelujah so that they don't shake they don't waver they don't move around because they are pillars he said there are people I will make pillars in my house in the house of my God and I will give them the name of my God are we together it's not everybody that was meant to be pillars Hallelujah. But there are people that must be pillars. And if you are here, you are a pillar. I would like you to stand like a pillar. I would like you to hold the house. I would like you to say never. And can I say to the locust army, this week you have really encouraged me. Amen. This house have really shown me that if the challenge become tough, it become tougher. If the challenge become what? Tough. We become what? Tougher. We become more tougher than the challenge. There are some people that don't care. They don't know what we went through this week. Amen. And uh, if the burden of the house is not in your heart, we can't force it to be your house. Your heart. Amen. But I want you to know that reward are going to come to men. Not according to their nature, but according to their works. I want you to know that this house is a spiritual house. And all of us are working for one father. All of us, including me. And that's why even when I'm painful, when I'm not happy, when everything is discouraging my hand, I keep on doing the work I am doing. Not because of you, but because of my father. Are we together? Please, I want us to receive what we call steadfastness of our heart. Know where we are going. Push where we are going. And determine to get there. It will help you. It will help your children. It will help your children, children. Most time, you don't need to pray for your children to be well. You need to love God deeply in your heart. And the God you love in your heart will lay hand on your children. Abraham didn't prepare any special prayer meeting for Jacob and Isaac. For Isaac. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. He just loved God, and the God he loved lay hand on an Isaac. And when Jacob came, the God Isaac also loved, lay hand on Jacob. And the God of Abraham became the God of Isaac, became the God of Jacob. That is, where, that is how to transfer a legacy of a spirit from one generation to another generation. 
But if you are seated here, you lose connection with a spirit that can bless you and bless your kids as a person. Have you done well to your children? It is the God you worship that will look for the seed that come out of that. Out of that man, that woman that worship God. Sometimes we see our kids misbehave. We thought that why they are misbehaving is because they were not trained. Yeah, some not trained. But if there is no God that speaks to them from within, which began from his mother or father, there is nothing any man can do. So if you want to, if you want to labor for your kids, bend down to an altar, bend down to a God, and then shabba with him, he will visit your children. Some of them will be sleeping. He will appear in their bedroom and give them definite instructions. Things that words cannot do. You see, that's how men arrest their future. I said, that's how men do what? Arrest their future. He says, see it a man that feared the Lord. See it what? That do what? Fears the Lord. Fear. The reverence, the worship. That adore God. He said in his seeds. Shall be mighty. Upon the earth. The seed of that man. That woman. That fears the Lord. That's why please. If you are here you have a child. You have a daughter. Don't worry about talking too much to them. Worry about your dealing with God. Because whatever you achieve with God. We speak in their heart. If you take God light. If you take God light, it doesn't matter. You can have money and give to your kids. You have not helped them. Because those physical things can vanish in a moment. But the God that stay with them will make them prosper. Zana zayozem Zina ya zozi Bana ya zam Can you lift your hands? Yezebube You are my God Say something to our king. Where can we go from your presence? Where can we go?
deliver the word of oath you planted in my spirit you gave to me in my heart so that you can depend in my heart to give it to your people I ask for the openness of the spirit so that the word can be delivered as it is received thank you father put your hands together for Jesus wherever you are God bless you I will be preaching eating from God's table. Say to neighbor, eating from what? From God's table. Hallelujah. Now, can you begin to write down? Table is symbolic in the spirit. Table is what? Symbolic. Table is like a platform. Table is like what? A platform where things are where things originate or where things are decided. Every great community family have a table where they discuss matters. Where they do what? And uh, every deity have a table. Have what? A table. And uh, there are two kinds of table. There is a table of the law. And there is also a table of the devil. There is what? A table of the Lord and a table of what? Of the devil. And many times the circumstances of our life manifest from the table we eat from. Our spiritual health, our growth as per destiny is defined from the table we eat from. And tonight the Lord has asked me to call you to his table. That amen should be louder than that. Let me begin from 1 Corinthians 11, 20 to, to 25. 1 Corinthians, we are looking at verse 11. Chapter 11, sorry. Chapter 11 from verse 20. God bless you. Can you say, Locust Army? When you come together, therefore, unto one place, this is not to eat the Lord's what? Supper. Go to verse 21. For in eating, everyone take it before order his own what? His own supper. That is orderliness. And one is hungry, another is what? Drunken. Go ahead. What? Have you not houses to eat or to drink or despise ye the church of God and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. Tell your neighbor and say, neighbor, please try to coordinate yourself when you are in the house of God. Very important. Go to verse 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night, the same what? The same night in which he was betrayed, took what? Took bread. Somebody will take bread today. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat this. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of what? Hallelujah. Today, his spirit will appear in return. Go to verse 25. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he has supped, saying, this cup is a New Testament in my blood. These two years, as oft as you drink, drink.
bring it in remembrance of what? In remembrance of me. Can you say, I will remember the Lord today? In the name of Jesus Christ. I say, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the glory of your life is what table do you eat from? And let me define this table to be a platform of God's word, where God's word comes to you. Can say a platform where the word of God do what comes to you is the table. Is what is the table of your life? Because the real food God gives to men is not amala. It's not a wedu. It's not pap. The real food God gives to men is his word. Is what? So the table of God is the platform where God depends upon to minister his word to you. Where God depends upon to what? Minister his word. Can you say minister? Now, I want you to know that the platform where the word of God is spoken to you is more important than the word. Do you know that when men speak words that they don't have each platform, the word will mean nothing in the spirit. Hallelujah. I said the word will mean what? Nothing. If men speak word when they don't have platform of that word, the word will mean nothing. Hallelujah. Why Jesus quoted Isaiah 61 that the spirit of the Lord God is upon me and the Lord has anointed me and everybody begin to fasten their eyes on him is because he had a platform of that word. He has what? Can I tell the locust army? If you, are, if you are here hearing me, you must pay attention from a platform of this church. If you don't understand the platform where this church sees the word of God, you will never follow. You will never what? Rather, what will happen is you start finding faults. You start what? Finding fault. I want you to know that the platform from which we see God's word is a platform of second coming. It's a platform of what? That is when we open the scripture, we don't read genera. We read to understand the scriptures that talk about the second coming of Christ. And that platform has saved us from confusion. All people that read a general Bible and quote it, most of the time, the Bible they quote does not have link with their life. Have not what? Have link. Can it say link? One day I discovered that Jesus didn't quote all the scriptures. Didn't what? He went to scriptures that he has its platform. For instance, he said, The way Jonah was in the in the belly of the fish for three days, so shall I be in the belly of the earth for what? For three days. So he has, he has traced his life and platform to Jonah. And when he was making, <laughs> hallelujah, and also he traced his life to Noah. To what? To Noah. He said, in my second coming, it will be like the days of what? Of Noah. Am I, 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 is somebody getting something I'm saying tonight, today? That means anytime you open the Bible, you must understand where you belong. It's not every nice scripture that is your scripture. If every nice scripture is your scripture, Jesus couldn't have read Isaiah 53. Because Isaiah 53 said he will be chastised. He will be brutalized. He will be abandoned. He will be treated like a criminal and nobody will regard it. It is difficult to accept that kind of scripture, but it is your scripture. Am I talking to somebody today? 
So anytime you see me climb here to preach, I just want you to know what I am preaching is from a platform. Can you say platform? So the table God has prepared for us is a platform of the second arrival of Jesus. And my ultimate aim today is to ask you to eat from that table. I said, my ultimate aim is to ask you to do what? To eat from what? From that table. Let me tell you something. Eating is powerful in the sight of God. Eating is what? Oh my God, tell your neighbor and say, neighbor. Eating is what? Because your destiny is decided from not only the food you ate and from a platform, the table you ate that food from. Yeah. Hallelujah. God said to Adam, there is a platform of innocency. There is no devil, there is no iniquity, there is it's only God. It's only what? God. In this garden, this is what you must eat. This is what you must what? You must not eat from other platform. You must not eat from other, other table. You must not what? And God said, Adam, because you have a covenant table, anytime you eat from this other table, something will go wrong. In fact, the Bible said, Adam, you will die. Adam, you will what? You will die for eating from another table. But if you keep on eating from this table, you will always be in charge of everything. We all know that what brought the earth to where it is in chaos, in all manner of evil, is disobedience to table. I say it's what? disobedience. Not only that Adam was reduced for what he ate. That the authority, can you say the authority? The authority of God left him for eating wrongly. Do you know, most people don't know that there are things you will allow to dominate your heart. It will reduce you to nothing. It will make you powerless. It will take authority from your spirit. I say it will what? Take away authority from your spirit. Because your spirit was not meant to eat that kind of food. Are we together? When Jesus was a feminine, he said, he said to the Jews, his brother, he said, your fathers, why they die? Why they do what? Why they died? Because they ate manna in the wilderness. They don't supposed to eat manna. They don't supposed to what? Oh my God, am I talking to somebody today? They don't supposed to eat what? But why they die? Why they couldn't move to the promised land? Why they couldn't see the word of God worked? Is they change a table. They ate manna. Can I tell you something? The table you eat from matters to your destiny. They eat manna and they die. But Jesus said there is a bread that comes from heaven. Oh my God. Is somebody going to eat today? There is a bread that comes from heaven that when a man shall eat from the table of this bread, he said that man shall live. That man shall what? So there is a table a man will eat from and die. And there is a table you will eat from and leave. So table becomes important thing. As a table becomes what? A very important thing in our life. Can I tell you something? One of the things we have not control is, and if we don't control it, we will not control every other thing is we don't control what we hear. Amen. There are people that allow every story to start and end before them. 
but there are people that have learned this thing if the story is coming and they will check within their spirit they are not part of the story they will shut it down the people that have this power live but the people that wait for a story to start and finish dies I said they do what? Because they were not meant to eat the story. And they ate it. Most of us are blaming Adam. Most of us are what? Blaming Adam for eating the fruit that God asked him not to fruit eat. But every day we keep on eating the one God asked us not to eat. And that's why we have so many dead Christians. They are moving but they have died. Yeah, Adam, you could, you could have resisted your wife. You don't collect from your wife. But you, not even your wife, your friend is giving you and you are taking. You know, whatever your wife gives to you, if you are a man, it is very difficult to resist. And that's why to marry a good wife is part of God's ultimate blessing. Because whether you like it or not, you will eat from her table. Consciously or what? You will what? You will eat from the table of your wife. And if your wife have eaten from the other table, you will join the table. And that's why I pray for young people who are not married or maybe you are married. Please, may God bless your house. And if you are a man, please, Pray every day and say, Oh Lord, do not allow my wife to eat from other table. Because anytime she eats from other table, things will change in that house. My friend told me that the husband is giving him this much, and you are working in the same place and you are giving me this little. She has eaten from another table. Why is, it, why is so many head down? Raise it up, raise it up so that I can see your face. Hallelujah. Amen. I said amen. But if your wife keep on eating from the table of the Lord, your family will go far. Adam went to work. And the woman just engaged in a five, I don't know how many minutes conversation. The government of the house was changed. She ate what she doesn't suppose to eat. What I mean by eating is not only eating physically. I am talking about things you have taken, informations, belief you have taken and planted in your heart. Quit moderate how you think. Is what you have eaten. And can I tell you today. God has sent me to say. There is a table of God. And may you eat from God's table. Somebody shout a louder amen. I say may you eat from the table of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anytime people gather around table, food is shared. And the kind of food that is shared have covenant with the family that gather. Let me say this, very important. If you are not a close friend, a family member, a good friend of a family, you will not be qualified to sit around the table with the family. Is that clear? You don't allow a total stranger, somebody you don't know. Can you say a total stranger? You don't know him as a friend. You don't know him as a family member to sit around family what? Family table. 
So table also speaks about family. Can I pray for somebody? May you eat from the table of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, any spirit you gather around this table, the presence of that spirit is surrounded. Can I say the presence of what? Of that spirit is what? Is around. Say to your neighbor, the presence of what? Of that spirit. Say to your neighbor, of that spirit. Let's look at this scripture. Luke 22. We are looking at verse 17 to 20. Luke 22. And he took the cup and he took what? And gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourself. Go ahead. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the wine until the kingdom of God shall what? Shall come. Go to verse 19. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave unto them, saying, this is my body which is given for you. This too in what? In remembrance of me. In what? Hallelujah. Go to verse 20 the last. Likewise also the cup after the supper saying this cup is the new testament in my blood which is what? Shared for you. Can you see? He said, when you come to a table, a what? A table. He said, remember me. Can I say remember? Now, that word remember means even though I have been far, I will be present. I will be what? Remembrance means something that was far has been brought closer. We call to mind. We remember. This thing was last year, but we brought it today. It's now. Are we together? Come on, are we together? Lift your hand and say, Father, may your spirit appear in the table of the Lord. Can I hear your louder amen? I say, can I hear your louder amen? Also, I want to let you know that Table can mean a place where people gather. A place where people do what? Gather. Because table is a platform. Table is what? It's a platform. That's why Jesus said, we are two. Can you say we are two? Or three? Or four? What happens? Gathered in my what? He said, I am what? I am there in the midst. I am what? There. In my name, I am there. One day I told you here that when people gather, find out why they gather. I said, when people gather, find out what they what? Because the spirit that make them gather will be present wherever they gather. Amen. I said, the spirit that make them what? Gather. Will be present wherever they do what? They gather. Anywhere people gather, there is a spirit that appears. Amen. And that's why, if you are not very discreet about gathering, you will gather anywhere. Make contact with any form of spirit. Involve in any form of fellowship. Make contact with any kind of human being. Then you are not yet wise in gathering. Because every gathering have a spirit. Every gathering have what? A spirit. There is a spirit men attract anywhere they gather. How do we know? Where two or three gather in my name. 
gather what? He said, I am there in the midst. Jesus said, when my body and my blood is presented, he said, I will be remembered. Presence. Are we together today? Lift your hand and say, oh Lord, help me to attract your presence in your name. Can I hear your louder amen? amen. Temple is a place of your of, of belonging. Say to neighbor, where do you belong? Let me show you this scripture. Second Samuel 9. We are going to read verse, verse 10 and verse 11. Second Samuel 9, 10 and 11. Thou therefore and thy sons and thy servants shall steal the land for him, and thou shalt bring in the fruit that the master's son may have food to eat. But Mephibosheth, thy master's son, shall eat bread always at my what? Always at my what? Say to your neighbor, Mephibosheth shall always what? Eat bread always at my what? Now Ziba had 15 sons and 20 what? Servants. Can we go to verse 11? Then says Ziba unto the king, according to all that my lord, the king had commanded his servant, so shall thy servant do as for Mephibosheth. Said the king, he shall eat at my what? As what? He will eat at the table as what? Have you seen why I said table is a place of sense of belonging? It's a place of what? If he didn't make him one of his son, he will not qualify to eat in the table of the king. Are we together? Do you know who this man is? Mephibosheth. He's a, one of the son of Jonathan. One of the son of what? Can I tell you something? You as a mother, as a father seated here, your account will either bless your children and ma or make them little. Jonathan was a man that was in a very big deep love with David because he realized that God had chosen David. That David have the favor of God more than his father. So whatever Saul plan, whatever what some plan against David, he will secretly inform David. The Bible said they were close friends. He was protecting and providing from the palace to, to David. Because the father want David to die. And David was keeping in his heart this record of kindness. So when the family of David overcame the family of Saul, during those confusion, this young man Mephibosheth was one of the sons of Jonathan. Wanted to jump in his running for his life. Had an accident and became a cripple. And not only became a cripple, went to an island and began to live in impoverished life. But when David became the king of Israel, the Bible said he remembered Jonathan. And now Jonathan is no more. But he began to search everywhere. Is there anybody from Jonathan? Don't play. Can, can I tell you? Can you touch your neighbor and say, neighbor? Don't play. Is there anyone from the womb of Jonathan so that I can show kindness to him? After some years, this man Siba, 
the king Kobiara said there is one of his sons that became a cripple. He was living somewhere. David said, go and bring him. Brought Mephibosheth, very poor, impoverished, not working. But because of what the father have done, he said, today, Mephibosheth, I am changing your status. I am changing your familyhood. I am linking you to the story of things. You are going to sit in the same table with me. You are going to sit what? In the same table with me. And not only sitting, you are going to dine with the king. And can I tell you something? From that moment, what Mephibosheth eat changed. And the way he appeared in the society also changed. Can I tell you something? The table you eat from determine how you appear. It determine how you appear. And may I prophesy to the army, may you eat from the table of kings. May you eat from the table of the Lord of Lords. If you believe, shout a louder amen. The last I want to speak to you about is a woman can you say, if you are a woman here, can you say praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Can you shout praise the Lord if you are a woman here. May, may, may I find a woman like this woman we are going to read about or we read about. The Bible gave testimony that this woman is a Canaanite. A what? A Canaanite. And when Jesus was here, Jesus, from his human understanding, didn't know that his ministry is to every woman. It's just like the way we are here now. We don't know that this ministry might be a global ministry. We thought it's only for Guyana. Hallelujah. That's how Jesus was. So when a woman from a canine had a problem with the daughter, the daughter was dying. He came to Jesus and Jesus looked at a woman and said, you know, we can't give you the secret of this family. And not only we can't give you the bread, the blessings of this family, we don't give it to a dog. Jesus addressed a human being as a dog. Some of you if I thought Jesus was around when he was having a ministry, you will interpret who he is. He called people bad names. Ah, that man is somehow, he, is, he says anything anyhow. Hallelujah. A woman was crying. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Can I tell you the true wisdom of this woman? Apart from persistence, apart from what? Persistence. She also understood submission. There are some people, if they call you two times and you didn't pick to pray for them, they become angry. Two missed call from their man of God, they become what? Who did he think he is? Me, I can also pray. Also, what? Me, I can also pray. Who is who did he think he is? And God is watching. And God is what? Watching. As long as God will continue to appear on the earth ideologically, human beings will always argue, argue with him. As long as God will continue to appear on the earth, what? Ideologically, human beings will always want to argue with him. <laughs> Hallelujah. But this woman was an exceptional woman. You can say exceptional. Jesus insulted him. Jesus did what? He reduced that woman to nothing. He said, Listen, 
This table is not a table for dogs. This table is not what? A table for what? For dogs. And the woman didn't say, who do you think you are? He said, my Lord. Yes. A dog accepted. But can a dog eat from the crumbs? A dog by the one that was sent, who the Bible said he loved the world and died for the whole world. Was he here on earth and looked at a human being and said, Dog. You know, sometimes when I see the way some Christians and church people judge pastors. Because of one step, the other step they have taken. I wonder if Jesus were the one to pastor them physically here. Amen. But Jesus said, You can't eat from the table of sons. This table was meant for sons and daughters. Dog can't come here. He said, okay. I am not qualified for the table, but can I eat the one that fell from the table? Hmm. Amen. Do you know how to win a battle against somebody that is bigger than you? bigger than you and the person want to fight you or the person want to make you look nothing don't reply the person have a good heart with that person have what when you have a good heart with somebody who is higher than you and is oppressing you eh? God will become your defender I say God will become what? Do you know what happened? Immediately that scenario came, God became the defender of that woman. Jesus said those things just to provoke her so that she can walk away. But she insisted. Can I tell you something? Do you know there is something you can get when you insist? When you what? When you insist in the path of good behavior, righteousness to get what you are looking for. I don't think there is any Christian today that a pastor will tell that way and they will not go to social media and say, look at this one. Look at what? Uh, they will start forming meetings. Hallelujah. I don't want to be very segregate. You know, there is something, Jennifer, can you stand? I am not trying to praise you. Do you see Jennifer here? Many times I have washed her from this altar. I have what? I have in many ways. But do you know what she does? She behaves like this woman. Amen. She behave, I am not praising her. You know, I, it's not in my. But I want to use her to show you an example. Some of you have witnessed what I'm talking about. She stand here most time. I say, Do you know there are people you will do that thing even by mistake? They will judge you. They will interpret you. They will say all manner of things. But for over how many years have you been here? It's up to seven years. Eh? Eight years. 
in this house. Non-stop. She doesn't allow, wait, she doesn't allow outside program she had to clash with her commitment in this house. She know that she, she, there is something she must do in this house. And anything that wants to interrupt it, she will move it to save being in the house. But there are many people that doesn't think that way. Even as a pillar, they can just carry the church and walk away. They don't care. Can I ask everyone, please, today, may your conscience and your heart come back to you. Amen. And uh, I said to mommy, I said to her, we deeply love you. And that love is not because of who you are, not because you don't have fault, but we love you for that story. Keep it for your children and your children's children. Do you know why I brought her? That is how that woman came to Jesus and called him. And the woman turned the agony, the situation around. By herself, by her behavior. By her, by her humility. And she called him Lord. I can also eat from the crumbs. And Jesus turned back and said to her I thought you came from Kenai but now I know you are part of this kingdom I know now I know you are better I know and the Bible said that moment the daughter was made whole And I tell you something. May the wisdom of God come to your heart anytime you want to make some, some certain decisions. May the what? May wisdom of the Most High help you. And you cannot have wisdom until you are humble. If you are not humble, you will not assess the wisdom of God. One of the things arrogance and pride does, it will take away making wise wisdom of God decisions in your heart that day she participated in the table of the law and the things the daughter was suffering was over today somebody is going to come before the devil May whatever that is going through in your life be declared over. Be declared over. Come on, if you believe, shout a louder amen. amen. Lastly, Psalm 23, verse 5. Psalm 23, verse 5. Psalm 23. Thou, search your neighbor, thou. Does what? Prepares a table before me in the what? Thou what? Anointest my head with what? Can you say, oh Lord, prepare this kind of table for me? Hallelujah. Do you know what this table is? It's a table that God boasts with. It's a table that shows show people how powerful your God is. It's a table that God do, do guy with. Can you say God do guy? Hallelujah. God do shakara with this table. Can I prophesy? God will do something for you. And the, and the wisdom behind those doing is that so that the people that wish you a different thing can see that there is a God in your life. Come on, there is a God in your life. Hallelujah. He said, thou preparest a table. Thou do what? Preparest a table 
in the presence of what? Can he say my enemies? Can he say thou preparest a table in the what? In the presence. Oh my God. That's why this year I will not pray for any enemy to die. I will ask God to prepare my table. They say it will not happen. It keep on happening. Can you say I like this kind of table Lord? Can you say Lord? I, I, I like this kind of table. I like this kind of table. I will prepare it where those that hate your face can see it. you see, our church is taking a new shape. Both our friends and our enemies are seeing it. Where, uh, some are noticing. Where did they get money? Huh? Is, it not, is it not people are no more coming to that church? Huh? There are few now. Mba. Is it number? God doesn't do anything with number. He do things with value, valuable people. No, 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 Niana. I told God, I said, do not take time. Prepare another temple in the presence of my enemies. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I said, prepare. Yeah. Listen to me. Imanisi loves this kind of temple. As I do what? It, that you don't like my face doesn't change anything. You don't what? Yeah, the way that man is talking. Anytime he's preaching, he will be walking boldly. Does it concern you? Are you the one that kept me alive? You know I'm joking, eh? <laughs> hallelujah. I say hallelujah. And today he has won a nice suit. Who knows who gave him? Does it concern you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Also, or some that your heart is so bad. Maybe it's our money he used to buy this suit. <laughs> Can you say, my father, prepare my table in the presence of my enemies? Hallelujah. That witch from your village that say you will not marry, they will see your husband. I don't know whether I'm prophesying to somebody or another person. They will watch you marry the best man in the land. The best. Some lady will say, yeah, she's not qualified. She didn't fit you. It's not fitting his grace. He's stable. You know, some wicked lady, they know who fit who. But if you watch most of them, they never fit anywhere. Yeah, that your wife doesn't fit you. Now you fit. <laughs> Somebody shout, yeah! If you're a man here and, so, and, and the lady come and begin to make you believe that your wife didn't fit you, just know that you are face to face with a devil who will attack your family. My name is Imanisi. I said, my name is what? Imanisi. Yeah. They know who fit who. But they themselves, they never fit anywhere. Somebody shout, yeah, 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 yeah. They say you will not marry. They see you and your husband driving to the church singing Hallelujah. They say, Sister, how? He said, this is the doings of the Lord. There is a table my Lord prepared before me. I 
Am I talking to somebody today? Can he say, Oh, my father, prepare my table? You are walking in a place. Every time people that are too powerful in your office are making plans on how to sack you or demote you. Today I am prophesying to you. Before their eyes, another authority will say, Sign for her or his promotions. Can you say, Sign for my promotion? Hallelujah. Prepared. Thou preparest a table before me in the what? Presence of my enemies. I told you an enemy is a system, a person, a power, authority that is designed to harm your life. Anything prepared to harm. Oh my God. And do you know what this table means? Whatever they say you can become. In their presence, you are becoming that. Whatever thing they say you can have in your presence, in their presence, you are having them. They will say you will not have any joy. Every day you are laughing everywhere. Can somebody show you? Yeah, 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 yeah. In the presence, prepare a table. And not only preparing a table. He will make you walk like God's anointed. When they set a trap, you jump and pass. You know they shake. Mother do share parada. When they touch you anyhow, God will slap them 20 times. Because he said, touch not my anointed. Do them no harm. I will prepare a table before thee. I will anoint your head with a fresh oil. And finally, your cup will run over. You know, today, today, as I was at the bathroom, a thought, you know, do you know what I thought about you? I said, this year, we are going to raise millionaires. I said, I will raise people that will be so rich enough that when they when they look at me, they say, Man of God, this is your car, you are due to change it. No meeting, no contribution. They just walk to the garage, pick it, pack it here, and say, Man of God, keep on. I want to raise people of that caliber. was taking my path to come to surface that thought came like a river into my spirit and do you know the sign of it I will never make any extra effort to earn a car I will keep on trumpeting from this altar and men and women that hear my voice correctly we enter into the riches of the lion of Judah man of God is a man that is surrounded with blessed people. That is surrounded with what? Hey, is it not this week I know that to so have people that are blessed. Eh? I am moving you from where you have been to where you can be. To where you can be. To where you can be. Somebody shall fire. I anoint your head with oil. And your cup will begin to overflow. 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 When you finish your expenses and you still look at your account. So many things are still there. Overflow. Overflow. Set your neighbor overflow. When I was a child, I thought that money is nothing. I tell you, money is power. And that's why many people don't have it. If you think it's 
nothing. Go and pick it. Am I, am I still talking to somebody today? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I will prepare your table where your enemy can see it. And not only they can see it, I will put my anointing upon you. And then I will make your cup to the floor. And finally, he said, goodness and mercy shall follow. Somebody's not getting it. Somebody's not getting it. Such a neighbor, goodness and mercy. Can I prophesy? As you eat from this table today, it shall be prophetic unto you that God has prepared a table before you. Oh my God! Hallelujah! Don't think that everybody loves you. There are people that will remember you when bad things happen to you. They will call you to sympathize with you as though they care. They just want to hear more how painful what happened to you happened. But when they hear that good thing happened to you, they won't call you. They'll say, mm, mm, mm. Can you say, Oh Lord, give me undeniable miracles? Can you say, Oh Lord? me undeniable miracles. They say, mm, let me say to the army, for what you have shown this week, for the power of an assurance that we are not alone in this work, that we are a company of an army, that we never break their rank. I prophesy, you will overflow. Your car shall overflow. Your finance shall overflow. Your career shall overflow. Somebody shall fire. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet and prophesy. Say to God, let my car overflow. physical. I lift up the blade, the sword of the spirit. You tables, I scatter, I scatter, scatter every evil table over your family. Scatter the table now. Yes. Thank you. 
Somebody. Somebody is scatter.
you don't know that that food is a planting of the devil. It's what? Can I prophesy? If such wickedness are happening in your life, as you appear before the table of the Lord, whatever the enemy have planted shall be rooted out. I say it shall be rooted out. Somebody shall Shall be rooted out. And today, receive power in your being that you will not appear in a meeting you don't know who are there. You will not what? Appear in a meeting you don't know who is congregating you. Are we together? One, one minute worth and then we break the bread. Can you lift your hand and say, oh Lord, today as I eat from the temple of the Lord, I make contact completely with him who is the king of kings and lord of lord I make contact Jesus Christ the master of the universe as I as I eat from this table I become one with Jesus in blood and in body in the name of Jesus Christ as I eat of this body, I shall live. I shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ, I shall fellowship in the table of the Lord. I shall be empowered. Thank you, Father. Lift your hands and bless the Lord.
again. You say that this bread is my body indeed. And you also say that this wine is my blood indeed. And you said to look at some in the word of oath. He said, do this in remembrance of me till I return. Lord, this is that body that grave was not able to keep. This is that body that resurrected. This is that immortal. This is that celestial body. You said, the bread is my body indeed. Lord, as we eat of it, we share with you in the unity of the body. As we share in your body the power that couldn't allow sickness to enter your body shall be functional in the body of your people. Lord, your body is a spiritual capsule that takes care of every form of sickness. Anyone that eat of this body shall be healed of any name sickness in this world. Lord, because your body is your covering. Anyone that eat of this body shall be covered from the arrow that fly by day and the wasted that destroy at noon day. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we eat of your body, we share in the celestial power. We share in the eternal power. We share in the unity of God and his children. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Jesus, you said the wine is my blood indeed. Today we lift up this wine as a sacred prophetic symbol of your blood. The one that splashed a Calvary altar. When this blood dropped on the earth, earthquake took over the entire earth. Even them that die, grave were open. And they those that die come out from the grave and walk through the streets of Jerusalem. Today, as we drink of the same blood in prophetic sign, we are asking you, everything that has died in our system, in our life, let it resurrect this morning. Let it resurrect today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we share in the covenant of this blood, let prisoners go out of the pit. Let them that are sick be healed. Let them that are suffering receive liberty. Let this blood become a weapon of war against every works of the devil. In the name of God, as Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost.
and proclaim victory in his name victory in the blood of the Lamb yeah we stand and proclaim victory in his name victory in the blood of the land there is a victory victory, victory.